Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this Tuesday morning. And just following on from that beautiful hymn, Lord, I come to you. Yes, we come to God today to bring joy to the joyless and hope to the hopeless and strength to those who are weary and weak. And it's good that we can welcome our dear brother Paul and Jan and whoever else is here, not logged in, you're welcome, you're welcome. So first we begin <clears throat> by lighting a candle for unity and peace within the whole family of God. And we say we light this light in the name of our Father, Mother God, who creates life in the name of Jesus, the cosmic Christ, who loves life in the name of the spirit, who is the fire of life. And in the name of our earth mother and mother Mary, our heavenly mother, who both nurtured the divine in all life. And in the name of all faith traditions and none, for we are all children of the one true loving God albeit known by many different names. So we come to break bread together at this table of love. And our Tuesday morning prologue reads, we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother, God, the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Tuesday morning we commune with the angel of joy, saying, angel of joy, descend upon earth and give beauty to all beings. You then reflect and feel yourself absorbing vibrations of joy from the beauties of nature, the aroma of flowers, the color of sunrise and sunset, And let us be still as we come into the presence of God. And in this stillness, let us allow the Spirit of God to reawaken the I Am Presence within us. And this morning, our morning prayer, I'm afraid, is a traditional prayer from the Divine Office for Tuesday, the second week of ordinary time. O God, come to my aid, O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, <clears throat> is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A mighty God is the Lord, come, let us adore him. And our hymn this morning, Father, Mother, God, we praise you. Now the night is over, active and watchful, stand we all before you. Singing we offer prayer and meditation, thus we adore you. <clears throat> Monarch of all things, fit us for your mansions. Banish our weakness, health and wholeness sending. Bring us to heaven where your saints united joy without ending. All Holy Father, Mother, Son, and Equal Spirit, Trinity blessed, send us your salvation. Yours is the glory gleaming and resounding through all creation. <clears throat> Our first antiphon, Lord, send forth your light and your truth. And now we read Psalm 42, a psalm, the theme of the psalm, Desire for God's Temple. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send your light, O send forth your light and your truth, that these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy, my redeemer. I will thank you on the harp 
O God my God. Why are you cast down my soul, why groan within me? Hope in God I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. And the second antiphon, Lord, come to our help all the days of our life. <clears throat> and the canticle reading is from the prophet Isaiah, and the theme of the canticle reading, the anguish of sickness, the joy of health. I said, in the noontide of my days I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of show for the rest of my years. I said, I shall not see the Lord in the land of the living. I shall look upon man no more among the inhabitants of the world. My dwelling is plucked up and renewed from me, sorry, and removed from me like the shepherd's tent. Like a weaver, I have rolled up my life. He cuts me off from the loom. From day to night, you bring me to an end. I cry for help until morning. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. From day to night, you bring me to an end. Like a swallow or a crane, I clamor, I moan like a dove. My eyes are weary with looking upward. O oh Lord, I am oppressed, be my security. Lo, it was my welfare that I had great bitterness, but you have held me back from the pit of destruction, for you have cast all my sins behind your back. For Sheol cannot thank you, death cannot praise you. Those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your faithfulness. The living, the living, he thanks you, as I do this day. The Father makes known to the children your faithfulness. The Lord will save me, and we will sing to stringed instruments. All the days of our life in the house of the Lord. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, come to our help all the days of our life. And the third antiphon, to you our praise is due in Sion, O God. And our final reading is from Psalm 64, and the theme of this psalm is solemn thanksgiving. To you our praise is due in Sion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin. Too heavy for us our offences, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God, our Saviour, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders, the lands of sunrise and sunset, you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your rivers in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with flowers and showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness, it flows. 
the hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. And now the Gloria, glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. Our scripture reading is from Paul to 1 Thessalonians. It is not as if you live in the dark, my brothers, for that day to overtake you like a thief. No, you are all sons and daughters of light and sons and daughters of the day. We do not belong to the night or to darkness. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The short responsory, hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. Hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. I rise before dawn and call for help. Hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. Hear my cry, Lord, for I hope in your word. And the Benedictus Antiphon, Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. And now, my dear friends, I invite you to join me for the Canticle of Zechariah, otherwise known as the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty savior in the house of David, his servant, as he promised through our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. <clears throat> so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him and, excuse me, <clears throat> all the days of our life in his presence. And as for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God, the Most High. You shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high, and he will give light to those who sit in darkness and those who dwell in the shadow of death. He will guide them into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. And now, dear friends, we come to our morning intercessions. Let us bless our Saviour, who by his rising to new life has freed the world from fear. Response, Lord, lead us to the truth. Repeat, Lord, lead us to the truth. Lord Jesus, as this day begins, we remember that you are risen and therefore we look to the future with confidence. Response, Lord, lead us to the truth. We offer you our prayer this morning. Take to yourself our cares, our hopes and our needs. Response, Lord, lead us to the truth. Deepen in us our love for you today, so that in all things we may find our good and the good of others. Response, Lord, lead us to the truth. Lord Jesus, we pray that through our own troubles, we may learn to feel the sufferings of others. Help us to show them your compassion. Response, Lord, lead us to the truth and now for a moment in silence let us be still and come into the presence of God and if anything is worrying you or troubling you 
or if there is someone we should be praying for, then please share the intention and together as one family, we will remember them. This morning I want to pray for each one of you, my dear friends, and I want to pray especially for dear Sister Jan, who's been unwell for over a week now with bronchitis. So let us just for a moment form a circle of light around Jan and just ask the Cosmic Christ to lay his healing hand on Jan. Thank you, Lord. We pray for dear brother Paul and for all the prayer requests listed in the Order of Franciscan Hermits Facebook page. But we pray especially for brother Paul this week in particular as he prepares to make a journey in faith, seeking support for the vision that God has given to Paul. We pray this morning for all those who are here but not logged in. We pray for our dear brother James and his forthcoming trip to Assisi, where he will be live this Sunday evening from Assisi. We pray that the peace concert in Syria will be protected, blessed and secured, and that no harm will come to anybody present. And we pray especially through the power of prayer that the Father, Mother, God will perform the miracle where politicians have failed. We pray for all refugees living in and around Syria, where many women and children and elderly people have been left to starve to death by their president because of political issues and because of discord between the Shiite and Sunni Muslims, such a shame that the Prophet Muhammad did not leave an heir which could have or may have intervened and prevented such strife between Shiite and Sunni Muslims. We pray for peace in that beautiful land and across the Middle East where there is so much strife as in Egypt, Libya, Palestine, Israel, Iran, Iraq. Lord, we surrender to you your children who are wounded, who are hurting. And we also give to you the perpetrators of these heinous crimes. And thank you. Thank you for bringing peace to that land. We pray with Brother Paul for me Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. It's a bit of a tough one at the moment, but we go with it and we say thank you, Lord, for taking care of each one of us. Though our bodies may be going south because of age, but yet in our hearts we are still young. And I thank the Lord God for this channel, for our live stream channel for peace that we can come together from different time zones and that we can unite in the presence of God and that we can offer the gifts from our heart with those of Mother Mary, our Heavenly Mother, as we join with her and all the angelic realm, all the saints and holy men and women of all faith traditions in promoting peace and harmony in the world and I pray this morning for our own community for our brothers and sisters past and present I pray for our new members for sister Margaret for sister Lita for brother Francis and sister Francis for brother Dylan and for sister Nancy who, who will be starting their training this week as postulants in the community we ask Francis and Claire to watch over them, to protect them, and to nourish them with Franciscan joy. Amen. 
And now let us bring the suffering children of God, of all faiths and none, for they are our brother and sister, and they're members of the mystical body of Christ. We pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who have wronged us in thought, word, or deed. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of negativity, despair, and evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And our closing prayer, dear friends, excuse me. True light of the world, Lord Jesus Christ, as you enlighten all men for their salvation, give us grace, we pray, to herald your coming by preparing the ways of justice and of peace, who live and reign with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of morning prayer on this Tuesday morning. It's quite dull and grey, but I think the sun may come through, hoping. So we now conclude with the Celtic blessing, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky, on those we love this day, and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon and the animal kingdom. Be in your heart this day, now and forevermore. Amen. As I blow out this light, I blow the healing touch of Christ to all whom we have prayed for, especially dear Jan. And I forgot to pray for Joey and Sean, so we pray for them. Amen. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah. Paxet onam om shanti. Solo di carita. Salam alaikum. Peace. Have a beautiful day, dear friends. Keep warm, dear Jan. And I pray that Brother Paul will have a good sleep. Well earned, well deserved. Peace.